See what I'm looking at, folks? In the middle of our so-called Polar Express, that is a, an Acacia Melanoxalon. That's eucalyptus. And if it got that cold here, that would not be surviving, okay? And then these guys are butted up too. These are Joyce Collier uh, culture uh, Ceanothus. So you know where I'm at. I'm at Grace Point on Salt Spring Island in the middle of our polar, we don't call them polar vortex here, it's polar express, but there's an acacia, a true evergreen acacia melanoxalon. Beautiful tree, been there for years. And uh, they flower and it's an Australian species. I think maybe even Tasmania, you can look that one up, there's some camera ops in there too. So if it was that cold, that would not survive. And matter of fact, neither would that eucalyptus tree, which is absolutely massive. There's two of them there. That's a nightens. All right. Anyway, it's cool out here. It's, uh, it's around minus one degree Celsius. So we're gonna say it's cold out here, but not cold enough to turn the tracky leaves darker green and fold them in. Right, or the Jubea. It's been outside for 22 years now. So anyway, try one of those in your own garden. If you live in a similar growing zone, Acacia melanoxalon. There are hundreds of species of it. How you doing, man? I'm just admiring the plants. Beautiful, eh? Isn't it nice? You're smart. Didn't you move here from Ontario? Windsor. Yeah, Ontario. smart man. You're not missing the cold there, are you? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not missing the fucking.